As Japan mourns the loss of a longtime leader, mounting questions around the shocking death of Shinzo Abe. Overnight, Abe's body arriving at a Tokyo temple, the site of a private wake for the former prime minister. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken making his way to Japan, sharing condolences from President Biden. I shared with our Japanese colleagues uh, the sense of loss, the sense of shock that we all feel, the American people feel, uh, at this horrific tragedy and killing. Japanese authorities are now facing a complex murder investigation as they piece together the shooter's plan of attack. Over the weekend, the 41-year-old suspect, Tetsuya Yamagami, was transferred from a local jail to a prosecutor's office. Police say he confessed to killing Abe and that he believed the former prime minister was tied to a religious group that he said his mother obsessed over, which eventually caused her financial stress. Several Japanese media outlets report that Yamagami said he planned to make explosives for the attack, but switched to homemade guns instead. Investigators seizing multiple weapons during a raid on his home. Still in the wake of tragedy, Japanese voters heading to the polls in an election that Abe was campaigning for when he was shot. <laughs> Leaders holding a moment of silence before announcing results. A major victory for Abe's party, which earned a supermajority in parliament. Results analysts say are likely bolstered by the news of his death. A grieving country now seeking answers. Police investigating the assassination have declined to name the religious group the suspect thought Abe was linked to and allegedly caused his mother's financial ruin. But today, officials from a group widely known as the Unification Church, which is rooted in South Korea, told Japanese media the suspect's mother is a member. Police are also looking into their own security failures to figure out why the gunman wasn't tackled after the first shot, allowing him that second shot that ultimately killed Shinzo Abe. Savannah? So many questions there, Janice. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.